Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukal Kadash. Double honors to our elders and apostles for teaching us the truth of His Bible, and citation to the elect, pushing His word to the best of your ability. Con, so yeah, just had like a conversation with somebody yesterday, you know, a family member, and it just really, uh, you know, just real scriptural how and these people are, people don't have no idea what the hell was coming to this earth, you know, so... You know, we we are we're, we're blessed to to know know what times we're living in, you know, to know the signs of the times, you know, to basically measure on how long, you know, we, we have, you know, because it does say no man knows the day, you know, but we still have that measuring sticks, which which are these scriptures. So I just want to start out this is Isaiah 30 and 8. Now go write it before them in the table and note it in the book that it may be. For the time to come forever and ever that this is a rebellious people lying children children that will not hear the law of the lord come and you know this is laws only given to the children of israel you know scriptures go all throughout the scriptures you know speaking on how israel is is a is a rebellious people you know just like right here and uh it's so like that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. So they won't, they won't hear, they don't want to hear anybody, you know, speaking, speaking the truth of this, this, these scriptures. They want to, they'd rather turn, tune into a TV, you know, and, and, and uh, you know, just learn how, uh, you know, they just give any tithe money, you know, just give their money up and get some type of, uh, uh, a type of uh, money blessing or something, you know. That's that's pretty much what our people they want, which say to the seers, see not into the prophet. Suck it. Which say to the seers, see not into the prophets. Prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy deceits. Con. So let's go into that word deceit. Suck it. Con, so this is the word deceit in the Hebrew. Strong's H, 4123. Mahath al Mahath al Mahath al Basically, you know, deceptions and illusions. And that's pretty much, you know, it says prophesied deceit, you know, Esau. Esau is the devil, you know, meaning deceiver, you know. So it's, he's the perfect, perfect person to, you know, put, uh, prophesy this, put these deceits on our people, you know, these delusions, these deceptions, you know. So, you know, you got, you got our people, they just pretty much, uh, they, they pretty much believe anything that, that they're seeing right now, you know. You got all these, you got all this stuff going on around the world. Our people just, they just, you know, they're just blind, but, uh. Is Isaiah 30 and 10, which say to the seers, see not and to the so like and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits come. So basically our people they're like, you know, don't 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 tell us, don't tell us what's what's gonna happen, you know. Don't don't tell us that earthquakes, you no know, famines and pestilences are coming to this place, you no. Know? Even though, even though we already, you know, see some of these things, you know, we see all these uh, volcanoes erupting around the world, you know, don't, don't, even though we already see it, don't, don't tell us, you know, don't tell us that, uh, hey, don't, don't tell us that a blood moon, you know, is coming, uh, next month, you know, don't tell us that, that things are going to get even more worse after that, you know, prophesy deceits. You know, tell us, tell us, give us the illusions that we, we been receiving, you know. You know, don't, hey, don't tell us the white man is, is our enemy, you know. Don't tell us these other nations are our enemies. No, don't, 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 don't tell us there's going to be race wars, you know. Tell us, you know, hey, tell us there's going to be peace. Get you out of the way, turn aside out of the path. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. Constantly, you know, it ain't, it ain't nothing new, new under the sun. 
You know, it's the same, same exact thing going on in Egypt, you know. Here it is. Here it is, you know, we, we, we have, we have food delivered to us. You know, we have, we have, uh, we have something basically to, you know, we have a, a savior, you know. For our people, you know, they just, to the same to this day, they don't want it. They don't want that. Pretty much our people, though, they are uh, blinded, you know. I was speaking on that earlier. Our people are blinded. You know how we, we are, uh, we are fortunate, you know, to to be able to tell what times we living in. Cause all our people, our people are uh, lost right now, man. You know. So this is Slaki, Slaki. Hold up. Okay, so this is Isaiah six and nine, and he said, "Go and tell this people." Hear ye indeed, but understand not. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. Constantly, you know, our people will come down the street, you know, hear brothers prophesying. You know, and then they'll they'll see us, you know, they'll see the signs. They'll hear they'll hear the words coming out of our mouth. But they won't understand they won't understand it, you know. Make the heart of this people fat and their and their ears heavy and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. Con. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of times, you know, I be, uh, you know, kind of talking to a family member and then I, it, it seemed like, you know, they could, they'd be, uh, kind of getting it a little bit, but then just like a snap of a finger, you know, <laughs> they'll just all of a sudden just, just, turn a 360 you know they just be like oh, i don't want to hear this or uh that's not going to happen and i just you know i think about this scripture you no know, I, I can't see the angels but i can I, I, hey <laughs> clearly clearly they're like right there surrounding them you know let me see uh then said i lord how long and he answered until the cities be wasted without inhabitant and the houses without men and the land be utterly desolate come the scriptures going in on how how the missiles are going to leave this place desolate you know and only only uh was it desert creatures will be be uh, uh dwelling here you know according to isaiah 13 you know so basically if 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 our people can understand it you know then the most high would have to convert them you know and heal them they have to uh it's like they have to he have to heal them but then if that was the case then what why would there be scriptures like uh, uh why would there be a hey, why would there be scriptures like this why would there be scriptures like zechariah 13 and 8 you know about two-thirds why would there be uh why would there be judgment scriptures on our people you know two-thirds According to Jeremiah 15, different ways that they could die, you know. Why would that even be in, in there? You know? So there's a bunch of just a bunch of scriptures that just link up together, you know, that make perfect sense. Let me see. Uh yeah, so basically our people are not they don't understand what time they're living in. So they're not they're not even paying attention to any of this stuff, you know. And even the stuff that they, that do get exposed on mainstream TV, you know, like there are people see these volcanoes and stuff, you know, they see the, these these things going on. So I was talking to a family member about that. They see what's going on, you know. They know the blood moon is coming up, but don't have any idea. <laughs> don't have any idea what it means. There's uh, First Thessalonians five and one. But of those, it's like, but of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief to the night. Come. You know, because scriptures speak on that. You know, the day of the Lord coming as a thief in the night. And like I said, man, our people don't have any idea what the hell is going on. So, it's, 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 it's really about to catch them off guard. You know, like I said, it's going to be... Oh yeah, yeah, come. It's it's coming up. It's coming up. 
for for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. Come. So, you know, all these, these things, you know, all these things are coming to this place. You know, and then, you know, Trump's going to keep talking about, you know, making America great again. You know, so you're going to have Esau and all these idiots. It's, I mean, you even got some more people who believe in this, this clown. They're going to be talking about peace and safety. You know, peace is coming to America. Peace on earth. You know. It says, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh up on them as travail upon a woman with child. Come. So, you know, a woman doesn't don't know when that water is going to break. When her water is going to break. You know. But basically... Basically, it's a sudden destruction, you know. They say it's just, it's going, they're not going to know when it's going to hit them. It's just going to come out of nowhere, you know. And they shall not escape. But ye brethren are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. Come, because we're watching, you know. We're watching these prophecies, you know, no matter what, what Esau is doing to uh, certain sites and stuff, you know. Me personally, I look at the uh, Drudge Report. It has all kind, all kind of articles daily on that thing. Now, you know, I guess the site is down. It's been down since like yesterday. You know, but it's not gonna stop. You know, it's not gonna stop these prophecies coming to pass. It's not gonna stop. You know, other searches, other uh, sites. You know, to be to be able to watch. You know. Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Come, let it. Let us not sleep. You know, let us watch. Let's continue watching, Lord willing. Continue watching these prophecies, you know, and not not go back to sleep. Not go back into the congregation of the dead, you know. But it says, as do others, you know, like I say, our people are, are this, they got, they're into deep sleep right now, you know. They ain't, they ain't, they, you know, they ain't paying attention. They're paying attention to this damn folly. Well, oh, yeah, today is the, uh, the Warriors Parade, you know. It's going to be all kind of type of madness out there. Damn Warriors Parade. You know, you see, you see how on the news, they, they, uh, show you the map of exactly where the Warriors are going, uh, where they're going to go through, you know, what streets they're going to go through. You're thinking, man, Esau, Esau know, probably know exactly what time they're going to be, be on this block, that block, you know. They have some shit set up, some type of false flag set up today, you know. I wouldn't be surprised, you know. But then basically this family member I was talking to, this family member I was talking to was just like, you know, I was just telling them how, how basically, basically, you know, this, uh, all this stuff is going to come, you know, and the blood moons then start talking about all, oh, oh, uh, yeah, that means, uh, that means Jesus is on his, is on his way, you know, or oh, that means that he, his, his day is near, you know, you know, and so this scripture right here popped up into my head, you know, this is, uh, Amos 5 and 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? God, so. You know, it just. Our people. It's, it's, man, the scriptures fit it, fit our people to a T, man. You know, they always be talking about, oh, yeah, Jesus is coming back. You know, or, you know, that he's coming back. So, they, they really believe like it's going to be a day of, of peace and tranquility or something. You know, it's crazy. It says, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. And kind of, that's what I was, I was just telling telling this family member, you know. I understand they ain't going to understand it. But sometimes these conversations rise up, you know. And you just, you, just, you, you, you know, and this, this what's really going to happen, you know. you It's hard to uh, hold your peace, you know. But basically, you know, it's 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 not gonna be no no uh 
light, you know. There's a uh our people our people believe it's just gonna be this 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 uh what they do what they put in the movie they put a uh like a just an all white and light day you know with uh beautiful clouds in the sky you know and this 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 cracker just uh floating in the air you know with this uh real real soft pitch voice you know talking about I, I i bring you peace you know come come to me you know all that all that bs you know that's pretty pretty much what our people think it's it's gonna be like you say it's gonna be a day the lord is darkness and not light you know we know it's 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 gonna uh <laughs> it's gonna be some dark times man you know like it says it's, uh it's a time as has never been seen before on earth you know it's gonna be so much, so much death, you know. Most likely gonna have to cut this time short, cause Esau, Esau's, Esau's not planning for life, you know. You no, know, whatever the hell Esau tell you on TV that uh he's gonna make America great again, he's he's pretty much, he's pretty much uh you no know, basically basically saying that he's gonna make America great to live in, you know. He's pretty much doing the exact opposite. That's what he's doing. He's creating death, death styles all all around the whole the whole clock, you know, the whole this whole thing, you know. His whole thing is just he wants to exterminate us as Israelites, you know. It says uh Matthews twenty four and twenty two and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. Time. If the most high didn't didn't shorten these days, you know. You see how quick these days is going. But uh, uh it seemed like we was just in what uh seemed like we was just in December of last year. You know, we were just in we were just in the winter time. You know? Now all of a sudden we we're just at the snap of a finger we're in summertime. You know? Most high is 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 is, is speeding this time up. You how about Shmuel Shai is speeding this time up because this devil, I say, he, he all he has is is plans of death, man. You know, our people, our people don't even. There's still people of our people don't even use the internet. They don't see these 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 sex robots and all this this BS that they got going on. You know, they don't see these 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 dating sites with all these fucking trannies on it. You know, they don't still see any any these damn trannies and all this stuff that they got on here, man. You know. Yeah, I believe there's a damn article last year where Esau was talking about that uh, uh, straight man's got a, like, I think 10 dates or some shit, or he's going to have to date at least one tranny. Come on, man. You know? So, you know, yeah, about Shima Shai is speeding this, this time up because, like it says, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days should be shortened. Come Cause the elect don't, the elect of uh, uh, the nation of Israel don't don't want to live in this 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 wicked ass shit, man. You know, every every single week now for a whole month, we gotta go when we prophesy. We gotta go see this damn these damn uh rainbow flags flying all around the damn city. You know, and don't nobody man. These people are fucking dead, man. They don't they don't they don't even look up at it. If they do look up at it, you know, they don't have they don't have anything to say about it, you know? It's just a just a normal thing. To hell with this place, man. It's lucky. Yeah, basically, man, the hell with this place, man. Y'all yeah, watch Shimmy Shai, you know, it, it's it's you know, it's it's not no peace coming to this place, man. You know? Is this place this place gotta go, man. And it's and we're we're in those times, you order. We don't we don't have much longer, you know. So Lord willing, we just we we endure to the end. We we keep watching and being sober, you know. That's how he says it's high high time to wake out of sleep, you know. Lord willing, we just, we continue to watch until the end, you know. You know, the Wadi Al Bashmi Al Shai for putting the Holy Spirit, the Rakal Kadash, on me to to do this this video. 
double honors to elders and apostles for teaching us the truth of this Bible. And salutation to the elect, pushing his word to the best of their ability. Shalom.